Alright, final step of the process of installing Angel Eyes. We got the car all wired up, uh, Angel Eyes installed into our headlamps, and now just connecting everything together. Okay, so there's these little connectors here. Mine came not finished yet, so you just kind of... You can see there's, two, there's three openings. You just put one on each side. Um, you got to put it in the right way because there's little barbs that make it latch in. I think you can see the little... I don't know, I guess you can't see the little barbs, but they're somewhere in there. Uh, they clip in, you'll hear a nice little clip. It'll be a nice sturdy connection. Gotta do that for all these if you don't have it already done. Um, and we are going to mount the ballast. Here we are. Small little thing, double sided tape here. Mine came with double sided tape. Um, these two ends, they connect to the angel eyes. These two, they connect to the wiring harness we just installed. And they just simple, simply go up in here. They fit in this little recess right here. They'll be glued to the underside of this. It's kind of flat. It sticks pretty well. Um, and yeah, you just would stick it right in there. I've already done that over here. So you can see. I've got the little these two wires coming out from underneath there. There's the powers to the little to the angel eye ballasts. And here are some of the little connectors that'll go to it. Just kinda they'll stick out under there. Hard to see, but yeah. And now the hard part of connecting everything. Not too hard, but for some people it would be very hard. Um, the wiring harness came with these weird little connectors. I didn't have another set of these, so I just chopped them off and stripped the ends. Um, right here. I stripped one of the wires. As I found out before, if you strip both and you let them touch, you get to see plenty of sparks. Because if you have your door open and your lights are on, um, then the angel eyes will also be powered. So I will show you how to strip a wire, if you don't know how. I really hope you do know how. Because if you don't, then this probably isn't what you should be doing. Um, so you just need to take off a little less than a quarter inch of insulation at the end of it if you just made a little cut. Um, I'm going to connect the wires using some butt splices that I bought. Um, you could buy either ones like what I did, which don't have any insulation on them, or you could buy ones that already have insulation. And these are what they look like, just little metal things. A wire goes in on each end. These ones are made for wires anywhere between 22 and 18 gauge. Um, and yeah, stick one end in, and I've just been using the pliers that came in the BMW toolkit. There's a nice little flat area right there, and that's what I'm going to use to crunch the ends onto the wire. A nice, good connection. Squeeze as hard as you can. And it should look something like this. Alright, and I'm going to do that to the other one. And yeah, make sure your doors aren't open, your car isn't running, and your interior lights aren't on. Otherwise, when these wires touch, they're going to send a few sparks flying. Okay, those look nice. Make sure they're good connections. You don't want them wobbling apart. And I'm making the guess black is ground on this. Brown, and for BMWs, brown is always ground. And this wiring harness, they also use brown as ground. Trim that. And 
and crimp the other one as well. Gotta make sure you have a good connection. And you should have two little connections like this. And if you don't have the ones with plastic over it, you gotta put something. Damn it! <laughs> you gotta put some uh, heat shrink tubing over it. Or if you can't do that, then electrical tape. So I'm gonna put those on. Here's my ballast that I apparently didn't glue on very well. Probably in the future I'm going to find some either thicker, stronger, double-sided tape or glue it under there. It comes undone, I don't think anything serious is going to happen, but still just not something you want having. And I think that's it. I'm going to see if everything works. Headlamp assembly going in. Alright. Now we're going to find the... connect all the wires from our angel eyes to our lighting ballast. And okay. That's everything on mine. Alright, clip those together. One connection. Two connections. Alright. And if I'm lucky, um, these angel eyes are going to come on when I open the door or unlock the car. A nice place I can rest my camera. Witness this epic moment. There we go. Well, apparently my central lighting uh, locking system isn't even working. My key is probably dead. So I will open the door. That turns on that. Let's go look at my angel eyes. Hey, look, angel eyes. Look kind of dim. Probably because my battery's dead. But, um,. There you have it, angel eyes. Wire the headlamps, wire your car, connect them together, and that's what you get. And since I closed my door, they should go off. Yes, everything works nicely. And that is my little do-it-yourself thing for installing angel eyes into your car. And hopefully my car will be done soon and on the road. That wasn't so bad. Let's go do it because otherwise your car won't look cool.